Captain, as it appears we may soon be embarking for a maximum security prison planet, I believe the crew would like to speak with you to, as you humans put it, air some concerns. Alright, let's hear it. Oh jeez, this is like an intervention. Well folks, I ain't exactly keen on busting into a prison, but riddling bored stooges with bullets does sound like a ride and a half. I never got to know Doc Wells. We ain't friends or crew. But he's still one of us. He's the reason the boss is up and walking right now. We can't just leave him to die in Tartarus. To extract the scientist, you will need to infiltrate the labyrinth. But that course of action is likely to be quite dangerous, Captain. Hmm. We can't abandon Phineas. We have to free him if we've any hope of saving the colony. What's so bad about the labyrinth? Great figures, I've got to be the one to save the day. You know what? Let's, let's hear about the labyrinth. Let's do number two right now. Captain, come on. Even I've heard of the biggest prison the colony's ever seen. And on some occasions, I literally live under rocks. <laughs> but since no one ever makes it out, this is all just speculation. The armed surveillance protocols on a maximum security prison planet are highly sophisticated. As such, escapes are historically quite impossible and deadly. I am programmed to warn you whenever you exhibit inclinations toward risky behavior. Breaking into Tartarus will not be easy. Getting in is the simple part. It's getting out again that's the trouble. Trust me, I know. Let's just do it! Kick down some doors, grab Doc Wells, and cut a path out! We don't need a plan. We got guns! If you really mean to do this, you should see to your final affairs and close out any unfinished business. Once you sneak into Tartarus, you may be there a while. Or permanently. Okay. I think this is what you guys were talking about earlier, where you're like, okay, if you progress the main storyline too much, you, you can't turn around and do any other things. But we've already done all the companion quests, we've done all the side quests, except for, you know, that one dress lady that wants, like, the chitin of, like, a raptodon or something like that, or a manta queen or something like that, and, like, some other random trash. Maybe we can get that one out of the way, you know, just, you know, tie up that loose end and make sure there's nothing else. <laughs> and, you know, I might finish the game, and then that would be the only, like, mission that we never finish, the quest line that we never finish, and I'll get comments about it forever. So I'm, I might actually, before we actually do this, I might actually just uh, get that quest line out of the way, just so we don't have any loose ends at all, right? But, yeah, I like that little bit of detail they also stuck in there about uh, Vicar being like, yeah, trust me, I know about it, because, of course, he admitted earlier on in the series that yeah he's been to prison before so let's see what are we going to do here uh, we're doing it everyone strap in we'll go okay oh, and do i am i still limited to two companions during this though because it says everyone strap in and if i do have to take away two companions which ones am i going to take the ones that are probably the best would probably be maybe neoka and uh maybe ellie or sam i'll have to think about it like right when we're about to break into Tartarus or whatever. But I'd say either uh, Neoka's probably on that list because she's a fighter. We already know her backstory. So she's good about that. Uh, and Ellie's the medic. Hmm. Sam, he can spray everyone <laughs> and, and do some memes too. That'd be pretty fun. Yeah, we'll worry about the companion thing. That's probably going to be like after we do that one, like getting chitin side quest. So maybe we'll worry about that a little bit later. But either way, right now, uh, we'll go eventually, but we'd better prepare. I'll probably end up doing that one. Let's, yeah, let's do number three, because that one's not going to leave conversation. Let's do number three. Crew, what do you think about all this? Let's hear what everyone has to say about the situation. It's the craziest plan I've ever heard. And I mean that as a compliment. You didn't hire me to think. And I ain't about to start now. You're my boss. And I'll walk into fire with you. I think it's insane, but... Maybe the colony needs a healthy dose of insanity right about now. I know it's dangerous. And I won't lie and say I'm not scared out of my wits. But I couldn't live with myself if we didn't do something. You're asking for more than bravery from us, Captain. But there are worse ways to go than dying for a good cause. I'm in. Let Sam get the grime out. It's what our units do best. The entire plan is a terrible idea. But I admire your bravado, Captain. Which leads me to illogically believe, against the odds, that you will be successful. <laughs> Alright, well, we're going to be doing number two. Because, like I said, I want to I tie up that loose end of that one random side quest. 
just to get that done, make sure there's nothing else that we have to worry about. Hopefully this doesn't open up like 10 more side quests, golly. And then once we're ready, we'll break into Tartarus, and that's going to be the point of no return as I'm interpreting this. So, let's do number two. We'll go eventually, but we'd better prepare. We gonna prepare? Sure. Guess I could give my ass-kicking boots another coat of polish. You got some sort of plan in mind? We'll play it smart, talk our way through if we can. Yeah, I just upgraded my uh, my armor to be sneak, so maybe I could just sneak past everyone, and then if I get caught, I could just talk to them and be like, oh, I'm supposed to be here like I always do. <laughs> I've never had a plan. I don't know if I want to go in their guns blazing, especially with those guys. Apparently, they might have N-Ray. They might kill us like as easily as they just did on Phoenix's ship, so probably don't want to go into their guns blazing like Felix was implying, so let's see. I have never had a plan, and I'm not going to start now, buddy. <laughs> we'll go in. We kill everyone between us and our goal. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll do number two, or, uh, God, maybe I'll do number one. We'll play it smart, talk our way through if we can. Yeah, let's do that one, and if, if, if violence breaks out, then so be it. I guess hopefully we're not going to die during that, right? But let's just try and be sneaky about it, at least for right now. The fewer folks we got to hurt, the better. Maybe on our way out, we let all those poor souls locked up in there go free. Sure, boss. You do the talking. I'll pack a few more rounds of ammo. All right, sounds good to me. And there's that save right there, okay. Well, let's, uh, let's do a quick save of my own, just because uh, why not? It can't hurt to do a double save there, right? But yeah, let's open up the, uh, that's the wrong thing, journal. Let's open up this. Yeah, task, make spacesuits, won't travel. I, I don't think there's any other opportunity for, look at all these uh, completed things we did there, you guys. Holy heck. We're like almost 70 episodes into the series, they better be completed, sheesh. But anyways, yeah, this is the only thing that we have other than the main storyline, Brave New World. Phineas has been captured and brought to the prison planet of Tartarus, where the board intends to interrogate him. Now it's up to you to infiltrate the prison and rescue Phineas before the board can enact its plan to cull Halcyon's population. Also, Ellie and Felix and uh, Parvati and Sam have uh, perks up there I need to apply, so definitely want to do that before we uh, do this upcoming thing. Confront Sophia. Make your way through Tartarus and confront the person who runs the board's operation, Sophia Akande. Yep, she knows about our situation, because we botched that one mission for... Uh, Going to Edgewater, wherever it was. This one, right? Uh, yeah, to, to kill everyone in Edgewater using her heckin' robots and stuff. We never did that, so she knows that we're up to something here. So, I guess we'll have to confront her here in just a bit. But, for right now, like I said, I think we're going to be doing this one. Make space suits, won't travel. Byzantium's premier fashion icon, Celeste Jellicor, has hired you to help her create the ultimate outfit. The perfect marriage of the chic and the shocking. This might actually come in handy here, though. If we get, like, a really good, like, armor piece... It might be really good at, like, soaking up damage and stuff from, like, guards and all that kind of stuff during this Tartarus mission. So that might be pretty good. Might actually make sense to do this, you know? So collect three Rapidon flank hide. I wonder if we could actually buy that. If not, we could probably just go to Monarch, just kill some wild Rapidons and we'll be fine. Or even go to Roseway. I might be able to find her some Rapidons over there still. Uh, collect ten Primal Leather. So I need to kill some Primals over in the Emerald Vale region. So that should be pretty easy. And then collect a Mandaka Wing Chitin. Celeste needs to kite from a Manta Queen, hunt one down around Monarch. So, Monarch and Terra 2 around Emerald Vale. Those should be easy peasy, no problemo. So, yep, I guess uh, for right now. Actually, this would be a, a great opportunity for us to test out this gun, too, this uh, N Ray. Because that's, yeah, that's what the Primals did to us, right? Ow! Oh, God, fall damage. <laughs> that's what the, uh, the Primals did to us on. Yeah, on Emerald Vale. They do N Ray, don't they? Yeah. Okay, that's probably why we died so much early on in the series, too, because that end rate is pretty heckin' good. But yeah, we only ever... So, uh, Tartar... Yeah, look at that, now Tartarus is open because we have the nav key to go there, but... Eridanos and Typhon, that was the planet that was right next to the Hope. Or, that Hope that was right next to our planetoid, I guess you could say. Uh, HRS, blah, blah, blah. What is this one? Was that something and I just don't know what it is anymore? Hmm, I don't know. Either way, Olympus, Monarch is, I guess, uh, a moon of Olympus. Yeah, look at that, one of Olympus's uh, many satellites. But I guess we can go to Monarch and, you know, two birds with one stone sort of meme to uh, Cascadia. I guess we go to Cascadia. We can find Raptodons there, we can find Manta Queens there. That'll get uh, those done, and then of course we can go to Terra 2. We're in orbit over Cascadia, Captain. Oh god, we have a lot of, uh, what, what ammo does that ray take? Is that, uh, what's that called again? I forget what it's called. Uh, energy, yes, that's what it's called. Yeah, we have 5,000 heck energy ammo. I haven't had to, like, buy ammo or anything in a long time. Uh, I guess we'll keep Nyoka and... What do I have right now, Vicar? Yeah, we'll keep them. Yeah, let's keep them. That should be fine. Nyoka's, uh, like I said earlier, she's a heckin' hunter, so she knows how to heckin' deal out damage and kill stuff, right? 
a vicar, huh? Are you a true believer, or do you just like the tithes? Yeah. I once was a true believer, but no longer. My recent experiences have opened my eyes to larger truths. I met another believer once. Pushy type. He thought he'd been left behind for a reason. Thought he'd find some kind of cosmic truth in the wilderness. Got himself infected by a mantis and drowned in a sulfur pool. Some truth. I much prefer the path I took to finding cosmic truth. What? Taking some heckin' illegal substances or something like that? <laughs> what if we could find a still here in uh, Cascadia, though? Because there were some, I think, in here. And of course, we opened it up and killed everything. Oh, whoa, there's even loot inside. They're still nice. But yeah, we, we killed everything in here, so they're, they're not around here anymore. But I think if we go through the northern entrance, like right here, we should be able to find some Manta Queens and wrap it on some stuff like that, I'm sure, Used right? to be, you can get the best wine on Monarch here. Never had much Man, they keep on talking. I don't, I don't think I need to stop and listen like every time. Were frowned upon in my household. Is there not... They've been respawning over here for a while. I don't know if they'll stop respawning. If you got a way around it, ain't no shame in taking it. Wrap it on. Oh, did that count right there? Wrap it on a flat flank hide or whatever that was right there. Hold on, let's go to the journal. Uh, well, it doesn't say, does it? It says collect three wrap it on flank hide. I think we have one right now. And I think uh, that means we just need two more. It doesn't say, it, it's not keeping track of how many we have and how many we need, so that sucks. But yeah, there were Manta Queens that spawned over here very regularly. And, oh, here we go, more uh, Rapid Dogs. Yeah, another one right there, that's two. T uh, Terror Ray Beak. So if I get a- oh, what is this? Oh, Manta Pillar. Alright, I'm gonna hit you. How good is this stuff? There you go, it's dead. Oh, oh, there they are, now they're respawning. So Mantasaur Soldier there, that's good. Now, doing a little- oh, yeah, this is like a burst. Yeah, I need to get used to using this thing. It's kind of like a burst instead of a... Oh, God. Manta Queen there. Yeah, we're doing uh, damage over time with her. That's good. And she is down. There we go. Man, I'm liking this, though. And the Manta Swarms are actually getting hit. Oh, is it heavy? Is it AoE and damage over time? Because I don't remember shooting the Manta... I might have accidentally hit the Manta Swarm. Now, we should get a uh, Chitin from... Oh, yep. Yeah, Manta Queen Chitin. We got that, right? Mmm... Where does it say... Oh, yep, there it is right there. Got it. Manta Queen Chitin. Perfect. I just need to get to uh, Manta Plasma, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, and it just checked uh, on the right, top right side, too. Anyways, I just need one more Rapid on Hide, Flank Hide, or whatever, right? And, of course, we haven't fought any just yet. We've only seen... Oh, there's its head cut off right there. Nice. But, yeah, we haven't uh, fought any just yet. We only fought, saw them, like, just dead bodies and just stole their heckin' hide off of them, so... We continue going this way, we should find more Rapidons and stuff, because I remember fighting them over here earlier on in the series, so. Yeah, that I'm like, we have so much ammo, I don't think we really need to worry about being like conservative with the ammo, you know? So I think we're fine. I don't think we need to worry about uh being like, oh man. Oh. Although those are uh Wait, what is over here? That thing's dead. Oh. Uh oh, oh god, I didn't even see that. Yeah, there you go, wrapped it on dead. And I got the flank hide, is that it? Yep, that's three of them right there, perfect. Now all we need is, oh, Mega wrapped it on. I didn't even see that right there, but there he goes, dead. Great stuff. All right, but yeah, now we need to go to Emerald Vale, a dream time, blah, 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 man, that's a lot of stuff right there, boy, yeah. Yeah, I might as well fast travel to the uh, Unreliable, that's the wrong button. Might as well fast travel to the Unreliable and just head on over to the Emerald Vale, over by uh, Edgewater, and then just, oh God, I still have that stuff on the screen. <laughs> and then, uh. We'll get this mission basically done. We just have to go back to... Uh, I'm like, we're still going to be on the same planet. We just need to go from uh, Edgewater to Byzantium and then drop it off to Jolicor, whatever her name was. We are now in orbit above Edgewater, Captain. All right, perfect. Can I still see Phineas's lab and all that? And the hope and all that? Oh, yeah, look at that! There's the hope! I was about to say, I wonder if you can actually see those small details. And yeah, look at that. There's the hope right there, I think. Look at this. Yep, that says hope right there. You guys probably can't see that at all, but yep. <laughs> I like that little bit of detail right there. Cool. All right, well, let's go back out to Edgewater. Yourself or others while you are out. Yeah, I'll try. I'll try. So let's go out to Edgewater, blah, blah, blah. Saltuna can- Oh, yeah, I did want to see. Did they convert this cannery over or not? Yeah, yeah, we're at the landing pad right here, so we need to go into- eh, I can save it. Uh, oh, whoops. I can save a- uh, there you go. A little bit of time by going into Edgewater like this. And then, of course, we could fast travel. Like, I know an area where primal spawn relatively close by. It's that abandoned, whatever it's called, I forget. Oh, here's a cannery over here, I think, if I remember correctly. 
So I want to go in here and see if they, like, convert it to a big garden or whatever they did. Or- Oh god, the game crashed! Man, I don't even have an overclock going on right now. I don't know why it crashed right there. It was completely random. Anyways, uh, well, we have a lot of saves that happen. This game, like, like I keep saying, whenever it crashes. This game's pretty good at doing auto saves and all that kind of stuff. And of course, if that isn't the case, usually a, a quick save will help us out. So let's see, where does this uh, auto save take us? Oh, yeah, we're at the landing. OK, that, yeah, once again, barely lost any uh, progress right there. So not that big of a deal. So anyways, let's go into here and then uh, all I have to do is just like run this away. And uh, yeah, wasn't it like right here where we talked to that one woman and she was like, that's the same woman. She's still there from the heck. But can I still talk to her about the? I appreciate what you've done, but we shouldn't be seen together. <laughs> Who are you going to give the medicine to? Yeah, that was a while ago. Sheesh. Surprised that she's still standing in that same spot. But then again, am I really? Oh, it, it crashed again. Hold on. Is there is there like something in that area that's like causing my game to crash or something crazy? Maybe. Because that, that cannot be a coincidence that twice in that exact same area that the game can crash and some stuff. So let's actually see. Let's do it a third time and see if we can crash again in that exact same spot. <laughs> Hopefully not, but... uh. Well, there's no other way for me to... F it's not like, uh, whatever that town was called, uh, back on Monarch, that has, like, multiple entrances that you can actually fast travel to. Fortunately, unfortunately, I can't, uh, do that. What if I go this way instead of going that way? Hopefully this, uh, doesn't crash the game as well. The but yeah, I, I, we can go through that entrance right there, I think, right? And see if there's a garden inside there. Oh, 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 it crashed again! Yeah, see, it, I guess it just doesn't want me to go look inside the cannery, so... I don't know what's going on with that, you guys, that's so strange. Okay, well, forget about that. We're already on Edgewater. Let's go over to... I forget the name of the thing, but it's, like, north of uh, Edgewater. And there are some primals nearby. Unless they stop spawning up there. I don't I don't know. They, I'm like, we've seen them there forever, so I don't think we need to worry about that. Oh, I hit continue there instead of reload. So, or, uh, load, so... Hopefully it still takes us to, uh... Okay, okay, yeah, we're good. So where is it up here again? North, blah, 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 Botanical Lab. Uh, Emerald Vale Community Center. Yeah, there's not very many fast travels around here, you guys. Geothermal plant. Yeah, that's where we need to go to activate those robots, but of course we botched that one. We need to go all the way up to, yeah, the industrial zone. Oh yeah, I guess we can go to the community center, and then right there is the primal nest. River hideout, so I guess we'll go to the community center and uh, kill some primals. So how many would we need? Ten, I think? Ten primal leather. Okay, I wonder if we can get multiple leather from a singular primal, though. That'd be pretty good. And I think right down there is where the primals were, right? And I think over here is where... Marauders would be. And here's a dead marauder. Marauder thug, dead body. But thankfully, he's already been looted, so I don't, I don't have to worry about him. Actually, that might be a bad thing, because I'm addicted to loot, right? <laughs> Anyways, down here, yep, primals. And they should be easy nowadays, but there's a primal behemoth. If I hit him, you always digging. When we hit each one, just do a little bit of damage over time. Hunter's down. The pri Oh, yeah, look at that. The behemoth actually died while it was underground. That's cool. All right, well... Oh, this, oh, and they, they, uh, yeah, they turn into a pile of ash. Primal leather, so we have at least one right there. I guess I have to manually keep track of each, uh... Oh, really? There's nothing there? That's really weird. Tamed cannon. Nothing in those bins, of course. We've already... Oh, what in the world? There's stuff there? Grenade launcher and stuff? Group of commander, of course, there's nothing in there. Uh, well, we killed at least three pri... Oh, yep, there's another one right there. So we have at least two now, and of course the behemoth didn't drop anything there for some strange reason, but... Hunter, Hunter, or Ravager, Brute, and there's the behemoth again. He's digging over here, but he's taking some damage while he's being underground. Oh, yeah, look at that. There's a floating pile of ash, right? Oh, God, he spawned behind us. Oh, yep, yeah, there he is right there. Oh, one of our guys has Enray. Who is it? I don't know, but there, that guy's dead now, so that's good. Problem behemoth. Nothing in his inventory again. Why do they just keep dropping nothing? <laughs> and there's this floating pile of ash here. Can I really not? Uh, oh. Hold on. Oh god, did that glitch? There's primal leather there, and there's another one up there. Can I really not get to that? <laughs> really? Oh man. Oh! Man, this is so glitched! <laughs> oh, there it was! A oh! I think, did we get it right there? I think we did, because it's not glowing anymore, and awesome! <laughs> nice! Alright, well, we still have more around here that we need to loot, I'm sure. Yep, here we go, here we go. Yeah, that's a good thing about my lootometer, though. I'm, I'm addicted, aren't I? Yep, there you go, that fixed our uh, over encumbrance, that's good. But yeah, that's a good thing about our uh, lootometer. It's going to help us find these guys that are turned into heckin' ash after we killed them, right? Especially if it's floating in midair like that, right? Sheesh, we can barely see that. <laughs> and I think there's still going to be more primals over there. Yep, primal behemoth, perfect. Terror Ray died there, too. And I 
don't know if there are any more. I've all, I forgot. Oh, here we go. Here's a guy from behind. Nice. I just got killed by like Nyoko or whoever. Oh man, we're, we're over encumbered even with, I wonder if that stuff even like, like weighs a lot or something like that. Uh, Tremor Cleaver, that weighs three pounds. I'll drop that. Grenade Launcher, level four. I'll drop that. That's our old, no, that, wait, which, which one's our old assault rifle? Oh, that's it right there. Okay, so yeah, I could drop these ones no problem. So how do I drop it again? I forget. Oh, whoops, that's the wrong button. Uh, I don't think I can drop stuff. I think I'm going to have to like sell it. So that sucks. But anyways, uh, oh wait, one in the world. Why am I in Nyoka's inventory? It's supposed to be in my inventory. <laughs> but yeah, eh, whatever. I guess we'll just be slow for a little while right here. But uh, I might as well reload. There you go. And then, uh, up here we have a few behemoth hunter and stuff over here. Yeah. Edgewater is nothing nowadays. Oh, yeah, he's already dead. Oh, we're getting some primal hide from him, though, so that's good. And then, yeah, we could also go to Scylla. We can go to Scylla and get some primal stuff. I think. I don't know if they only spawn their primal brain. Sheesh. I don't know if they only spawn there doing that one mission to get the, like, pheromone lands or whatever that was. So hopefully they still spawn over there if I'm, I'm still missing some, which appears like I am. I don't know how many I have right now. We didn't get the mission right there, though, so, uh... I guess I could actually just check my inventory though, right? So, where would that be over here? Would it be junk? I only have four? What? I picked up May. What? May. <laughs> I picked up way more than that, right? I only have four primal hide. There is no way. I killed way more than just four, or, you know, harvested way more than four. Huh. Or maybe I, I picked up some other primal stuff and I just thought it was primal hide, but it wasn't, perhaps? I don't know. Very strange. Uh, I'm sure there are other places here in the Emerald Vale where these primals will spawn, but uh, I, I currently do not know where they are. And I do know they spawn on Scylla, so I may just end up going to the uh, Unreliable, going over to Scylla, and just killing primals over there. At least I remember the three locations are basically like on the edges of Scylla. Or I guess maybe what we could do is just, yeah, I guess we could just fast travel to the geothermal plant. You know, go to use the vending machine that's over here, get rid of some of the carry weight, then just fast travel back to the uh, primal nest and hopefully they respond. Oh god, it, what? It crashed again? I don't know why. I don't know why it's doing this. I actually don't have an overclock going on right now. I am genuinely curious why it's even doing this, you guys. They're strange. Yeah, Soul Tuna Cannery. Yeah, if I go near that, it's going to crash my game. <laughs> it's, it's like rubbing it in now. Sheesh. Oh, we're back. Uh, did we lose any? Yeah, those are already dead over there, I think, right? Yeah, those are already dead, so I guess. We still have the four in my inventory. Where were those? In the junk? Yeah, we still only have four right there, so that sucks. Sprat hide. Where are the uh, other things, though? The, the chitin. Or is it... Where is it? General... West... I is this it? West items? Primal leather. Ooh, primal leather. Primal hide. I might have been picking up primal leather and thinking it's, it was primal hide. Which one do I need? I need primal leather and we have eight. Okay. All right. So yeah, I only need to kill two more. So yeah, it seems like we, uh, that makes more sense. It seems like we're a lot closer than I thought. So that's good. I, I got him confused there. I was really wondering, it, oh, is it going to crash again? I'm going, I'm going to get a quick save so we save a little bit of time. Oh, who's that? Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, adjutant, oh, pfft. I guess we'll fast travel to the, uh, landing pad or something. But yeah, uh, adjutant Kande did say that they, after my like run in at the geothermal plant or whatever. They sent more reinforcements to there and that's why there's people there now. So yeah, anyways, let's, let's just fast travel to the, uh, to the landing pad. Cause there's vending machines over there we could use. Man, the game is crashing about as much as heckin' Planet Zoo, golly. Which is actually kind of crazy cause uh, Planet Zoo just had an update recently and it hasn't crashed once since uh, the update came out. So it's kind of crazy. I guess something had to start crashing after Planet Zoo fixed itself, right? Sheesh. <laughs> let's go over to the landing pad, unreliable. Yep, landing pad, let's go over there. And uh, hopefully the game doesn't randomly crash if I get next to a vending machine, right? I'm like that you spawn almost next to a vending machine, or a bunch of vending machines, so thankfully that's not gonna happen. Look at how big the Unreliable is. I don't think I've ever seen it, like, actually parked here in the Emerald Vale uh, landing pad, though, so that's cool. Anyways, let's use the vending machine, sell some of the trash. Thankfully, selling the stuff over here doesn't really matter because it's not a quest item, right? Uh, where is it over here? Oh, yeah, it, it, they don't even show up over there because uh, you're not supposed to sell, like, quest items. But anyways, yeah, let me sell the junk. Boom. We're at 241 on 250 still. So, uh, what was our carry weight previously? Wasn't it like 190 or something like that? And yeah, now it's 250, so that's good. Yeah. Remember, I did upgrade all their armor, all my companion's armor, to be, uh, 
plus 20 kilograms or something like that. So I should have gone up. Yeah, I must have been. Yeah, I, I think it was 210 beforehand, wasn't it? That definitely rings a bell. Yeah. Speaking of such, be sure to ring that bell to turn on post notifications. <laughs> I know, yeah, I'll sell some of the extra guns I was talking about earlier. So yeah, I'll sell the grenade launcher. I don't really care about that one. So boom. So that, that, that. And automatic. Yeah, kill that one. Or sell that one. <laughs> Security blade. I'll sell that one too. Sawed off shotgun mark two. Yeah, I'll sell that one too. Uh, the vermin, yeah, we have like a thousand of those. Flamethrower, I'll sell that one too. Another flamethrower. Yeah, those guys always draw flamethrowers, so it doesn't matter. An old reliable right there. I kind of want to keep it cause, just because it has a name. So, yeah, I'm going to sell that one too. And I think that's going to be basically it. So that's good. We're down 204 out of 250, which is good. I still have a lot of armor I can sell too. Uh, I guess I can sell my old armor, actually. Yeah, there we go. I uh, get a little bit of money out of it, especially because I'm not using it anymore. My companions can't use it because it's, it's going to be worse than the armor they currently have, right? So let's definitely sell some of this. Oh, God, that was a stealth. That's tech skills. Yeah, really not that big of a deal. I, I've been forgetting about uh, switching my armor over to, like, stealth. Uh, oh, sneak. Uh, I don't know if I'll wear that. Yeah, forget about it. <laughs> yeah, I, I've been completely forgetting about uh, switching my armor over to, like, specialized armor that gives us buffs for certain things. I completely forgot about that one, so... Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll sell everything over here. Just because my, my, my companion... Yeah, I like skills. Yeah, I forget about that. Just because my companions have really good armor, I have really good armor, it doesn't make sense for me to... Oh, that's the guy from earlier, too. Yeah, Lud Ludwig uh, Miller. Still around here. Yeah, let's get a quick save so we don't lose that progress. <laughs> what do we... Oh, 163. Man, I almost dropped 100 pounds right there. Nice. Now let's go back to the community center and uh, go back to the same primal nest and kill the same primals that hopefully respawned. <laughs> and all I need is just two more primal leather, so I I'll probably end up killing the... Oh, this way. I'll probably end up killing the first few primals over here, and hopefully they're going to drop the two primal leather that I'm missing for this mission. And then we'll go to the other side of the planet to Byzantium, give that to that woman, and uh, hopefully whatever armor she's going to give us is actually going to be very helpful during this Tartarus breakout mission. Did they respawn over here? I don't think they did. I might have to actually leave the planet and come back. Okay. Well, I guess we'll have to go back to, like, Scylla or something like that, right? So that, that sucks. Let's go back to the Unreliable, go back to Scylla. Ah, uh, there we go. And yeah, I don't need to go like to all the locations. Oh god, it cro what? Alright you guys are back. Um, very strange. I, I restarted my computer, reloaded this save, the recent save that we were on, uh, or was it, uh, an hour, or one day, 14 hours, 30 minutes. And then fast travel to the unreliable interior and it worked right there. So very strange stuff, I don't know what was- Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. Okay. I, I don't know what that, that was going about. It looks like Neok is teaching uh, Parvati how to shoot stuff. But I guess now we go back to the community center. Now that we're technically leaving Emerald Vale and then going back to there. Maybe now the primals have reset and respawn and we can kill them again and get their... Oh, yeah. How, how many do we have? We still have eight of the... Where is it? It's this uh, modifications general quest items. Here we go. Yeah, we still have eight primal leather. So we still have the... Oh, God. Why is... I don't know why I looked right there for a second. That was kind of weird. It was just like the lighting, because it looks like it's like turning nighttime right now, you know? So that's cool. Anyways, let's see if any primals have spawned down here. Like we'd easily kill and get some primal leather. Uh, no. Okay. Well, we might have to go back to Scylla then. Okay. Well, whatever. Hopefully the game doesn't crash. Hopefully the game doesn't crash. Hopefully the game doesn't crash. Oh my gosh. Oh, it didn't crash. <laughs> that's good. If you're looking for crew members, I don't care. Let's go to Scylla. <laughs> Harlow's base? No. Scylla landing pad? Yes. Let's go to Scylla as I travel through the sun. <laughs> oh yeah, Hephaestus! Yeah, there's another place called Hephaestus. I don't think... I, don't, I doubt we're ever going to go there. Sheesh. Skip uh, those commanders. Just take the same ones from earlier. Who cares? Not that big of a deal. And then right outside... Oh yeah, there was like a building outside here, wasn't there? Yeah, like over there. What is all that stuff for? I for, I don't know. Huh. But yeah, like over there are some primals, supposedly. Oh, I can actually see them. Yeah, primal behemoth. Perfect. I don't want to take fall damage, so that's good that they're, they're over there. So that's good. Uh, can I fast travel over there and save a little bit of time? Um, it'll probably be the same either way. So yeah, let's just ride the elevator down. Make sure we don't take it too much heckin' damage by uh, falling off or anything like that. So there you go. Negate any potential fall damage. There you go. And, uh, can I just go around all this stuff? I think it's going to... Oh. Hey, I can go around it, nice. But yeah, now let's go over here and kill these primal behemoths. And then hopefully they still give us the same primal leather and all that kind of stuff that we're going to need for the... Where are they at? 
Oh, there, there you go. There's a Primal Hunter right there. Perfect. Take one of these because I think I'm addicted. Uh, I might have been. I might not have been. I don't know. But anyways, where are they at here? There's Behemoth right there. It's asleep. Let me hit it a few times with some Enray. There you go. Yeah, this does shoot and burst, so I need to get used to that. There you go. The Behemoth's down. Hunters are all down. That's good. Primal Hide, Primal Leather. I need the leather. That's good. Brain, no. Br uh, hide, no. Leather, yes. Yes, we got it. That's all of it. Ten Primal Leather. We got it, you guys. Awesome stuff. All right, well, let's go back to uh, Byzantium. Almost said Behemoth. Jeez. This guy has no legs. I'll take all that stuff. Now he has, like, no loot, too. Sheesh. <laughs> let's go back to the... Where is it? There it is right there. Unreliable interior. Let's go back to Byzantium. And let's go give this woman Jolicure whatever. I believe I hear Felix and Parvati discussing the latest Aetherwave cereal. Duh, who cares? That might actually be something we never heard before, but who cares? Oh, God. Adjutant to Conte's landy paddy. Yeah, that, that's probably where we need to go next. Talk to her about uh, the whole situation. She's gonna be like, oh, what did you do? We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. Yeah, I don't, I don't really think it really matters too much uh, what okay, she has to Captain. say, right? But yeah, let's go out to... Oh, actually, you know what? Save us a little bit of time. I don't need to do this. Let's go to region. Where is it? Yep, there's right there Prosperity Plaza. Uh, take them. I don't care. Uh, yeah, who was it? Nyoka and Vicar? Yeah, yeah, I don't think it really matters. We don't need to switch between companions for this, right? <laughs> we just have to go up here and give it to Jolly Cool or whatever her name was. And, uh... Actually, I think Jolly Cool was the last name, wasn't it? I forget what her actual name was. Whatever, let's just... There you go. There she is right there. Celeste Jolly Cool. Yeah, I knew it was the last name. Whatever. Anyways, I got the stuff. What can I do for you, darling? Manta Queen, Chitin, Raptodon, Hide, Primal Leather. All done. I've been thinking of a name for this new outfit. Chimera. Crafted from the hides of three species of monster. Ooh. While you were gone, I put in an order for one of my bespoke lapels. Solid gold. Diamond encrusted. If it doesn't have one of my lapels, it's not a Jolicar original. Those slackwits at HPS are holding my parcel while they wait for a signature. Bureaucracy is so utterly insufferable. Be a dear and retrieve it for me. Oh my gosh. You're asking a lot from me. Yeah, hopefully we can get a little bit extra money on this. Understatement of the year, darling. Believe me, I'm every bit as frustrated as you are. All right, I'll get that parcel. Those monsters are forcing you to sign for a parcel. What a massive inconvenience. I've been all over the colony for you. Now you want me to deal with bureaucrats? So have one of your assistants fetch your parcels. Yes, do, uh... Yes, do, I don't know. Yeah, let's just go. I don't care. Wonderful! I'm giving you authorization to retrieve this parcel on my behalf. You truly are my savior, darling. All right, well, let's go. There you go. Now, where was it? Was it on ground or something like that? I think so. Writ or right of consent. Or writ of consent. I don't know. Oh, God, the frame rate dropped here. Yeah, wasn't it underground or something like that? The HPS? Because we saw that when we were doing the lab rat or whatever. It's lab sprat. Yeah, lab sprat like retrieval looking thing. And by the looks of the uh, the thing right there, it looks like we are going to go back to the underground area and potentially to that elevator that takes us underground. Uh, no? Oh! Well, I guess maybe that was just their underground uh, part of the uh, HPS. But let's go inside the HPS Halcyon Postal Service or whatever this was. Right there. Oh, God. Draw my... Or, uh, sheath my weapons. Golly. And we don't have to worry about getting caught, because we have, uh, permission or whatever. Oh, God. I went the other way. Whoops. Uh, hey. <laughs> As I'm on the wrong side. Burning the midnight oil, are we? The Halcyon Parcel Service's work is never done. Welcome to Halcyon Parcel Service. Deliveries guaranteed within standard margins of accuracy. <laughs> Let's do number three. Celeste Jellicore sent me. I'm here to sign for a parcel. If you would like to sign for a parcel, please go to window B. Uh... Okay, well, farewell. Now, what is this? All of Yates make spacesuits won't travel. Someone took the wrong one. I guess I'll go to the wrong way on this one. Wanda Chen. Welcome to Halcyon Parcel Service, where all parcels are guaranteed to be delivered with an acceptable margins of certainty. How may I be of assistance? Yeah, I'm here to collect a parcel for Celeste Jolicure. <sighs> Let me just look that up for you. It appears that a parcel for Ms. Jolicoeur, comma, Celeste is currently out for delivery. I was told the parcel was being held here. It's being delivered to Miss Jolicoeur's address, right? Out for delivery? Where exactly? 
Let's do number two. Let's make sure it's going to the right place. Let me see here. A parcel for Jolicoeur, comma, Celeste is being delivered to 316 Rockwell in the Byzantium Estates. Well, be on my way. Thank you for allowing HPS to be your only option today. Well, Monopoly much? Oh, I can't go to the wrong... Oh, I might be able to break into there if this guy's not looking. See if I can find any loot over there. This kind of looks like the, uh... The place back on... Monarch. Uh, yeah, I might be able to break into there. Ah, I don't have enough lockpick. Man. Maybe if I had someone else that was a companion that will uh, boost my lockpick, I'd be able to do that, but whatever. Actually, I might be addicted. That might be why I can't go through that, because I thought I had at least 60 lockpicking. Uh... Yep, that might have been why. You guys want to go back in there? <laughs> I'm like, we're not going to be able to, we're, we're about to hit the point of no return here in just a bit, you guys, so. Yep, that was the, uh, problem, so, boop. Quick save. Five seconds, that guy's going to be, uh, patrolling there for a while, so he's not going to see us. Except we're going to be on the un- oh. Well, the door is unlocked now, so I doubt he cares, but, uh, Corporation Service Award, I'll take that. Whoop! As we're just walking in here. By that shunt, I'll take that. <laughs> and go up this ladder and stuff, too, nice. Oh, it's up here. Steal other people's second stuff. No mind if I can do. What is this? Heavy ammo? Boom. Yeah, I don't know where that guy is. See if we can do some hacking parkour over here. Boom. Oh, God! Ah! Whoops. Sentry saber, makeshift low pressure suit. Weapon for a speed grip. Where's that? Oh, oh, he was right outside there. Nice. I'm gonna pick this while he's not looking. Grab all the stuff inside here. And steal all. Thanks. Hey, look at that big <laughs> climbing down that again. Oh! Yeah, I don't know if he actually cares if I'm in here. Seems like it doesn't, so that's good. Check the lootometer one more time. Ooh, almost missed this. Heavy ammo, blah, blah, blah. Oop. Yeah, I don't seem like you know. Almost missed this over here. Boop. Energy cell, that's going to be good for the uh, NRA uh, gun that we have. Oh, some mag picks over here. I guess I'll grab those. Just kind of good, just because we just used a few mag picks earlier. To unlock. Oh, and there's even stuff over here. What is this? Oh, what? Her parcel's right here. Uh. Yeah, that guy just, he totally saw me right there. I don't know what the... Whoop. What is this 316 thing they were talking about out for delivery? Did they just straight lie or something like that? I don't know, pipe patch. And, oh, hey, how's it going? I'm working this. Yeah, you better go that way. Whoop, whoop. I'll take those. And I'll be on my merry way. Ba boom. Yeah, I don't know. It, I don't know what that was about earlier, you guys. If you guys know what that was about, where we have to go to like 316 Rockwell Avenue or whatever. Or is this 316 Rockwell Avenue? And that was just a meme that the, it hasn't even actually left yet. I don't know. I don't understand what just happened right there, you guys. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below if you guys uh, know what actually happened there. But anyways, yeah, we're going the wrong way. Let me go this way. Actually, yeah, what? Man, I kind of want to load that quick save now and actually see what's over at 316 uh, Rockwell. But yeah, who cares? Let me just give this to her and just get this over with. Oh, God! Careful. Don't go running around in the middle of a crime scene. Yeah, I just saw there's like a dead body on the ground. What happened to Celeste? I didn't think this kind of thing happened here. I could handle myself. What happened? You mean Ms. Jolie Kerr? She was reported for practicing a subversive aesthetic. We found her in her office, working on something perverse. She didn't cooperate, so we had to put her down. Never took her for a dissident sympathizer. You killed Celeste? Yeah, I didn't see her right there. They just immediately put me in this conversation. I just saw something on the ground. I guess she's dead. You killed Celeste? That's insane. Did you really have to kill her? We're doing business. Attack! Murderer! Yeah, it, let's do... I don't know, let's do number one. You killed Celeste? That's insane! No argument there. Feels like the whole colony's going insane. What with dissidents infiltrating the walls of Byzantium. Byzantium cultural standards are enforced by Universal Defense Logistics. Universal Defense Logistics. Your first and last line of defense in the war against sedition. Sheesh. They even have that mandatory tagline there, golly. Yeah, she's dead. Can I loot her? I can. Her key. So I can go back there now and... Well, are you guys going to leave? Oh, I can take, like, hats and stuff over here now? Nice. I guess that's one upside to this whole situation. She's, like, dead on the ground. Is uh... That's how I'm going to loot. And now I have her key. And I oh, God! There's actually a guard there the whole time. I didn't <laughs> Man! Oh, yeah, and now I get it. Oh, that's still stealing, though. Uh... Hey, you. Oh! What do you think you're doing? Nothing. Just don't make more pain. Oh, that guy! I didn't see that one either. <laughs> oh my gosh! And there's like hats and stuff around here. You're really gonna like kill me for still? Oh, what about her uh, thing over here? 
51 bit, eh, whatever. Unlock the key, boom. And what's over here, huh? Oh, that's the outfit! The Chimera outfit that she was working on. Man, she's heckin' dead and, uh... I guess I'll take whatever else is over here. Jeez. Vermin, Adreno, bypass shunt. I have to pick that first. Boop, boop, boop. Boop. Yeah, I don't know why they're not, like, leaving her or whatever. Armor parts, which makes sense, because, you know, she's an armor person. And, uh, here's a Chimera. Now, what does this do? Let's see, what is this? Oh, what in the world? Oh, I stole these over here, yeah. And then the Chimera. Uh, dialogue skills plus 10. What? Well, we can get $500 from it. 58 armor, though. That's actually decent. It's light armor, too. Like, my max level, like, what is ours up here? 62, and it's level 30. This is level 21, it has 50, 58. Oh, my gosh. Uh, <laughs> maybe what do I look like when I'm wearing? Hey, you know what? I might actually wear that, you guys. You know what? We can go into heckin' Tartarus in style if we wear this. <laughs> I think this might actually be worth it.